All right, ladies and gentlemen, so <clears throat> good news is what you're going to learn right now and, and what you're going to practice on in just a few minutes is really, really easy. Fractions are strange because adding and subtracting fractions is actually harder and requires more steps than multiplying and dividing, which is what we're going to work on this week, is multiplying and dividing fractions. So I'm going to show you just with a picture first, how this works. We're going to do multiplying fractions. Um, I'm going to show you with a picture first so that you can kind of see what's happening. And then I'm going to show you the math behind it. And the math is really, really easy. It's not really challenging at all. Okay, So we're going to do a simple problem first. I'm actually going to do... Um, I'm going to do fourths on this just because I don't want to... Well, you'll see why. All right, so we're going to do one-fourth times two. Okay, so here is my one-fourth circle. And so if I have my one-fourth circle here, and I'm going to multiply it by two, which means I'm going to double this guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and double him. And so basically what I'm left is one, two fourths, okay? So my answer here would be two fourths, all right? Because I've got one fourth and then a second fourth because I doubled it because I multiplied it by two. If I'd multiplied by three, I'd have another fourth down here, but multiplied by two, so we've got two fourths, okay? Now, to simplify or to, to find the simplest equivalent, we know that's going to end up being one half. I'm not really worried about that part of it right now. What I want you to focus on is this two-fourths number, okay? Because now I'm going to show you the math behind this. And again, guys, this is so very easy. You're going to look at this and be like, really, that's it? And it really is, that's it. So when we're multiplying, now we're looking up here up top, one-fourth times two. When we're multiplying, all we have to do, all we have to do is we're just going to multiply across, Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Now, because 2 is 2 wholes, I can also write that as 2 over 1. And now I'm just going to multiply across. So I'm going to multiply the 1 times the 2. I'm going to multiply the 4 times the 1. So what I end up with is 1 times 2 gives me 2. And 4 times 1 gives me 4. That's it. Super, super easy, okay? Now, all you guys are going to see on STAR, on um, your CBAs, on your checkpoint quiz next week, or excuse me, at the end of this week, all you're going to see is the picture diagrams, interpreting the pictures. Today, I'm actually going to have you practice the math because it is so very simple, okay? So let's do one more, and we'll do both the picture and the actual math. We're going to make this one a little bit more challenging so that we can we can see this a little bit more. We're going to do um, let's do one sixth times five. One sixth times five. So um, I'm going to do my one sixth again. And because I'm multiplying it by 5, oops, I've got to do it 5 times. A little better. All right, so we've got one sixth, and I multiplied it one, two, three, four, five times. So now, what am, what am I going to end up with? Well, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five sixths. So this will give me 
5 sixths. All right. Again, if I do the math up here, 5 is 5 over 1. I'm going to multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. I'm just going to multiply straight across. So 1 times 5 gives me 5, and 6 times 1 gives me 6. That's it. That's all I have to do. Okay, now real quick, I'm going to, I'm going to do a variant on this so that you can see. That way I don't have to draw the pictures again. So instead of 1 6 this time, I'm going to do, which I guess I could have just left that. I'm going to do, um, let's do 5 sixths, just to make it a little bit more unfriendly with the numbers. So I want you all to see at least a semi-hard one. Okay, so I've got, here's my 5 sixths, and I've got it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, because I'm multiplying it by 5. All right, so now I've got to figure out how many total sixths do I have. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I have 25 sixths. Now, I know that's an improper fraction. We'll, do, we'll get to that in a second. Let's look back up here at the math, though. So again, multiplying numerator to numerator, 5 times 5 gives me 25. 6 times 1 gives me 6. So both the, the model and the math will work every time. Okay, now for my improper fraction, these are a little bit more challenging to break down. So we'll do that tomorrow. Don't worry about that today. So if you get an improper fraction on your assignment, and you probably will on several, you may try to change it to a mixed number, but don't, don't stress too much about that right now, okay? Because we'll do that. We'll work on that some more tomorrow. All right? Again, guys, super, super easy process. Multiplying numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. If you have a whole number, remember, you just do the fraction bar and put a 1 underneath it because it's just that's just 5 holes, so that's 5 over 1. Okay? And that's what you'll be doing on your assignment. All right? You guys have a great day.